Hey, what's up everyone? T-Ray from T-Rave.com bringing you a movie review over Warrior. Now, Warrior released on September 9th of 2011, and I actually got to see it early, but then failed at making this video until after the fact. So you can't actually go and see the movie uh, in theaters now. That is actually how I got the shirt seeing it early. Um, but anyway, uh, this movie stars Joel Egerton, Tom Hardy, and Nick Nolte. These are three men that I have not seen a ton of in movies. Um, Tom Hardy has been in Inception, did a great job as Eames in that. Uh, Nick Nolte has recently done the new Arthur. And I haven't been like a huge fan of Nick Nolte through his career. I just haven't been. Um, and then Joel Egerton, I had to scroll through his credits for a a long while uh, to uh, actually see um, like what movie I've actually seen him in, and it took me a bit to do that. But these three men, saying all that, um, not seeing them every day on movies, they did an unbelievably great job. Now, Warrior takes place, uh, well, basically in current time, and they did a really good job of actually not letting uh, like a date be put on it. How they filmed it, how they just everything makes it kind of uh, timeless, um, except for the fact that UFC is in it. Uh, the story of it is Nick Nolte's the father of this broken family. They don't talk, and he's trying to pick up the pieces um, in the background of the movie because it really follows uh, Tom Hardy and Joel Egerton. Uh, Tom Hardy, uh, or is uh, Tommy in the movie, he is an ex-Marine, uh, just got back and basically he starts MMA fighting um, to to make money. He, I mean, it's a very like he's just trying to move on from the past and uh, just move forward in that. Joel Egerton is a teacher. Um, he's Brendan in the movie. He is a science teacher and he just is trying to provide for his family and just the money's coming up short. And so on the side, he is doing getting back into. MMA fighting uh, and making money like that. Now, ultimately, the movie follows those two men, but then finishes at a UFC uh, championship uh, where like five million dollars is on the line, and that is you know both the characters' goals getting there. How they tell the story is just awesome. They don't give you all that much past information, and so when they they section it off because these actors, um, these men don't really meet up until the championship, uh, the tournament. And so it'll tell a little bit of Brendan's story, the older son, and then it'll tell a little bit of Tommy's story. And when you finally start getting some of the past, it then switches the characters uh, and you learn a little bit more about the past, uh, but you learn more about the character and you don't get everything all at once. And it keeps you motivated to keep watching in a very awesome way. It's really good storytelling. Um, you're rooting for both of them because they are both underdogs. And then, you know, let the cards fall as they will at, you know, at the final, the final championship. Uh, both, you're rooting for both and that's where they get to. Um, so anyway, this movie it was not a movie that I wanted to, you know, run out and see right away. But I'm glad I got to see it. I am naming it probably one of, it's probably going to be one of the best movies of this season. But I think it's also going to be one of those movies that here in like a decade people watch back. And like, it's still like time, it's still a great movie. They just did an awesome job. And I think it's like one of this generation's fight movie movies about fighting that people come back and watch, uh, kind of like a Rocky, um, you know, it, they just did a great job with it. Um, if don't let the whole UFC MMA fighting turn you off. Uh, I, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan. That wasn't why I was seeing it. Um, but it is definitely, uh, not a hindering point of enjoying the movie. Uh, it is a really good story. It's just really well told, great acting. Uh, they just nailed it. So it is one of this season's must-see in theater. I really highly suggest it. They did an unbelievable job with it. This has been my movie review over The Warrior.